Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I got, I know I filmed a AliExpress haul last and I showed you another package that I got. So it's been waiting way too long without me even opening it. Oh my goodness, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Sorry. I, huh. So it's time that we get it open. Um, I've just opened this plastic to take this to turn around the uh, take the name off and I guess you can all you most of you understand where this is from and it is from exclusive nail couture so it's my second package from e nail couture <clears throat> and the main reason to why I ordered again is because my first order I didn't read I didn't think like I wanted to try you know try the Acrylic, even though I'm not good at acrylic yet, but I got the pink magic kit <laughs> And I did not know that this is the fast setting monomer and it is so I'm like dang Well, I will just have to go back and order another one What is this a zip of that? Oh. Uh, okay, that is blue. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I was just, I need that baby kit, so I just went in and ordered another, and I'm like, gosh, I shouldn't have, but I did it, like, oh, I'm ordering way too much, I'm buying way too much, guys, that's my problem, but, as you all know, I cannot order a lot, because then I will get the, f oh, a pink box, I didn't get that last time, I got just kind of like a, yeah, brown and a gray brown box. Like this was much prettier. I did not get this last time. It was just like a, no, a white box, just like a regular white box. So I did not. This was a lot nicer, a lot more pretty presentation than the last one. And you get the slip. Yeah, what I was saying. I cannot order a lot because if I ordered order 350 or more in Norwegian I get taxes and brokerage fee it's almost like $20 in brokerage fee just to get the package out plus 25% of everything I'm buying including shipping so I have to stay under that so all I could get because the shipping is like 1359 something so all I could get was the baby kit and another acrylic so, I wanted like to get more of the cuticle bits, but when I put in like one of these, you know, the small cuticle bits, I have one of each for them from the last order, the shipping went up $10. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> I'm not paying like so much in taxes and shit for cuticle bit or two. Nope. So... That's a pretty box. XO, XO, Max Estrada, Exclusive Nail Couture. That's pretty. That's pretty. I did not get anything of this last time. That's strange. Not even the card. But at least this time I got it. <laughs> so cute. That's cute. And this time I even got pink of these. <laughs> pink. Okay, this monomer used to, so I'm going to pack that out of camera. Because if not, we're going to be here all day. <clears throat> and in this set, it is the glass pink. It's the 20 gram. But they are packed full, I think. At least two almost. Or three, but oh, the last one was that. Really? Like full pack. Well, we're going to... Oh, God, yes. It's full to the rim. And I like... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look how full it is. I'm pouring it out. Gosh. <laughs> I feel like there is some like acrylic on the inside here because everything is like yeah. Anyway, and then we have chrome white. Let me see which I'm sorry guys that I didn't take them out, but from before I have Princess Pink. Oh my god, is the no that is glass pink. Cool. And the other one was Princess Pink. Eternal Beige and Grand Champion, the white. So 
that was two different pinks and two different white and I like that and it's eternal beige in both and I just love love that because I know that is amazing I hear everybody say it and I have tried it so it was just that I had the fast setting monomer and that was not like not really great for me and yeah so this is the chrome white glass pink and eternal beige and the last thing I got is an acrylic system. This is a four or five in one or what it was. It's a black. It is for dipping, acrylic, 3D, all kind of stuff. So it's just a black acrylic because I have like the pigments I have, all of them. I was thinking to mix it myself. I only have the black with shimmer. I don't have a black. So I thought, okay, I'm getting this one. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm going to open the monomer. Okay. I have opened this and made it a bit ready. And I have opened the monomer. And I am really excited to see if there is a cotton candy. I can quite smell the cotton, but... And they have this. <clears throat> I have... I wish I had those bottles you have that you can just squeeze with like a pointy tip. But I used to, I use a dropper, like, so, but I've seen somebody do this, just to make like a little hole. So I'm going to try that instead and see how that works. And pour some in my dipping dish. Yeah, that worked really good, actually. That worked really good. Good, good, good. It worked good. It worked good. Yes. <laughs> it did. I'm not taking a lot because I'm gonna swatch because I'm gonna have dinner soon. Okay, guys. Yeah, so I've taken out my Alpha Kalinsky brush number, the oval number eight, and I have the glass pink here, the chrome white, the eternal beige, and the black is, as you see here, it is pure color powders, four in one powder for acrylic dip. 3D art design and ombre. So it is just a black. <clears throat> and um, yeah, so, and I just found some simple clear tips. So we're gonna try out my amazing acrylic skills. Not, <laughs> I mean, guys, you know, I'm not an acrylic. Yeah. I really have to take off time and really start sh yeah, shaping myself to learn this properly because it's it's so fun. It really looks so fun. <laughs> it does. It really does fun. It really does look fun, I mean. Okay. Oh, wow. That has a... Why is this... Oh, gosh. This was a little bit. Let's try. Get some. Why is the brush peeping out? What's happening with my brush? What? Look at the. Look at the hairs. That's strange because I have not done anything to this brush that. Yeah, it shouldn't be like that. But anywho, this was that was terrible. With the brush, what the fuck has happened? What the actually crap's going on? <laughs> what the heck is going on? Okay, I guess we gotta... I, I don't understand why it's... Why it is like this, because there is no... It was fine when I took it out, so... Yeah, anyway. Just get some top coat, regular top coat or something like that, and get it reshaped. That's the way to do it. <laughs> yes, it happens. I really don't know why it happened. And it was really irritating. Actually, to be honest, it was not fun to work with it like that. So 
sorry guys that was really frustrating it's like yeah <laughs> i don't know it's like the brush is like really dried up <clears throat> excuse my french okay so that's the glass pink it's a really pretty sheer pink <clears throat> And then over to the chrome white. I don't know what's the difference between the chrome white and and the other white I have. Ooh, it's melting. <laughs> I was afraid it was too dry, but it really it wasn't. It wasn't too dry. That's good. That's good, good. <clears throat> I mean, this acrylic stuff is really fine. If I could just sit down and really start, you know, practicing. So I could... Can I really get this in one bead? That would be fun. <laughs> oh, gosh. But yes, I really need to, as I said, uh, start. Uh, I want to start practicing months ago, but I'm so slow. I know, like, it's just kind of pathetic. I really need to get my shit together and get this done. Do you see how long time I'm using this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Work with me. Let's go to the side. I just want it over to the side. And that was like easier said than done. So I guess I just need a little tiny bit more to put on the sides. Like that. This, I hope I'm in frame here. For those who are interested in watching me doing this. Oh, I just want to source them for you and for myself, of course. But yeah, I'm mainly filming for you guys. So I thought it might be fun to see how they, how they look, you know. I guess I could find the other one too. Let's see afterwards if I can find them. So this is the chrome white. I don't, I kind of don't know what's chrome with this, but honestly, anyway, maybe I'm just not seeing it. <clears throat> and then we have the beautiful eternal beige, the most popular color in the history, I think. <laughs> no, I don't know, but honestly, I know this is loved um, and it's really pretty. It really is a beautiful color as I swatched it with a fast setting monomer that was like kind of setting way too fast for me but um, it is a gorgeous color and as they say I guess it goes to like fits all skin tones and that's cool like finding a color that fits all skin tones is not I wouldn't think that would be the easiest so yeah that's, that's cool but it's a really beautiful color i love it and i'm very happy that i at least got two parts of this even though it's only 20 grams so then it's 40. <laughs> but then at least i have <clears throat> i have one extra of those that was a bit thin ah yes i am <clears throat> I am happy about that. But honestly, look at this color. It's so pretty. Oops. Okay, I'm sticking to the brush. Let's get some monomer on here. Okay, and here. I don't know why I sit here and... And, um, yeah. <laughs> pat and pat and pat. And that's the eternal beige. 
beautiful. It's really beautiful. And now to the black. That's going to be <laughs> that's going to be exciting to try. Because I never tried a black acrylic. Well, I of course have not tried many acrylics at all. So I guess that's no it's no wonder. It's melting fine. It's a yeah, should be a big enough bead. Ooh. That is black enough at least. This is uh yeah, it's really pigmented. Holy moly. It looks so oh my god, this is like I don't know if I got it too dry anyway or what I did, but It's a little more like a failure, kinda, but at the same time, it's, it's working. I just have plastic a bag under my under my um, towel, so I can just you know, so I can just uh, throw it right away when I'm done. Just like, yeah, close the towel paper towel in the bag because of the smell that I can't like no it really I I, I, <laughs> I cannot feel like feel any difference about this or the or other monomers they say like it's the <clears throat> it's the cotton like candy cotton candy smell sorry but I cannot feel it at least not now when it's wet not at all I can't so so I don't know if it's when it's dry if that's gonna be better but so anyway <clears throat> there is uh, here is the black one and that is a perfect black it's a really perfect black so there we have swatch them all so this is the glass pink and it is like really can you see can you see the pink shine to it? I have to get my ass up. I don't know, can you? Yeah, now you can see it. It has a pink, pink shine to it, so that's glass pink. And this is chrome white. I I don't know, as, honestly, I don't know. I have to see what's the difference between the chrome white and the... Oh gosh, what did I say? I'm going to check the other one name was and this is the eternal beige it's beautiful and i really feel like it's melting this the monomer and polymer feels super good to work even for me that is completely new at this really oh, feels good to work with it's like it's melting you can see the color like it's melting into and the beads are easy to like they're melting together when you when you apply another bead oh i just something that has dried there but anyway and this is the the four in one the black and this is super pigmented and it does not have any shimmer and i like that i don't think so it does it maybe a little bit maybe it has yes it has some shimmer maybe okay anyway but it's a really pigmented awesome black so give me a second and i will check the other ones this is princess pink and this is glass pink so you have princess pink and glass pink and the princess pink is more as you see more like a little bit more coverage i don't have a thick layer in here so you as you can see i was working with the fast setting and it was fast setting too so oof. but yes and then we have the um, glass, no, sorry guys, oh, the Grand Champion. And this is the Grand Champion, the white, and this is the chrome white. So I'm like, I'm trying to see what is the difference of these. Oh, can you see? I guess, yes, I guess this is a little bit more yellow in it, isn't it? Yeah. This is even more white. So the chrome white is, after my opinion, even more white, while the Grand Champion 
is a little bit more <clears throat> yeah and this is the eternal beige it's the same so yeah so this is this is the baby baby kit isn't that called plus the black acrylic though of course so that's that's how this these they look and we can take the oh goodness how do I do that <laughs> and this is yeah this is the princess pink and the grand champion I don't know how much you see of this but so that's the this is the kit you get for the baby kit and this is the monomer and like do it smell now yeah when it's drying i can smell the the candy uh, the candy smell but i can smell it like when i'm working with it i i can't really smell a lot of difference on it so i feel it's kind of the same so a lot of the same at least so yeah so that's it guys so that's it for Inel Couture. I'm going to leave his link down uh, in the description box if you're interested in buying, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, that's it for this time. So, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!